I'm going to be a little bit spicy today and say, you cannot have a thriving, sustainable podcast without strategy. Let me say it again. You cannot have a thriving, sustainable podcast without podcast strategy. And I don't mean just strategy in general. I mean strategy with your content, strategy for being searchable in Google, strategy with your consistency for setting up your podcast professionally for all of these things, okay? You cannot have a thriving podcast without having each one of those strategies in your podcast. Okay, so today, it's a good day because I am letting you steal my strategy for your podcast, okay? This will be just scratching the surface, but I think you're going to find a lot of value out of this. So let's jump in, okay? I have six podcast strategies that you can steal from me. You ready? All right, the first one is to set goals. Set podcast goals. You might set business goals, but you might not set podcast goals. Set them. If you are wanting one of your goals for your podcast to be for your business in order to grow your business, then here are three goals that you can have for your podcast, okay? I'm gonna go through them fast. There are three R's. One goal you can have for your podcast, for your business is to reach more people, okay? that's That can be a goal. You wanna reach more people with your message. You wanna reach more people with your solution to the problem that you solve in your business, okay? And set and solve those problems for other people in their businesses. All right, that's number one. Number two, refreshing your client with the services that you have, with the product that you have, with the offers that you have. So that's refreshing clients, right? Giving them your offer. That's a good goal for your podcast. Absolutely. And number three is reiterate, reiterate the value that you offer by giving that value every time you push record on your podcast. Number two is to focus on your audience. Focus on your audience. If you want to have the thriving podcast, you need to give them what they want to hear, okay? You don't want to just do it to talk, to hear yourself talk. Y'all have heard me say that. Um, but to do it where you have the strategy so you know already what they want. Now, do market research. If you don't, go back to Kelly's episode that we had. Um, number 50, and listen to how you can conduct market research easily, quickly, but really hear from those people that you're serving, those listeners. So definitely focus on your audience. Okay, number three, you want to make sure that you have strategy in your podcast so that you are searchable. So number three is be searchable. You need to make sure that you have those certain things set up in your podcast so that you can show up on a podcast app search, or you can show up on a Google search. Come up with description, descriptive titles, a bulky description, because those are searchable. So make sure that you do that. Um, and your trailer also, you want to make sure it's bulky and it has keywords in it and that you do a trailer so people know what to expect from your podcast. Number four, have boom content. So when I say boom, I mean gold, like that's gold, Jerry, gold, gold, Jerry. It's great content that makes people say boom, maybe saying some of the things people don't want to say, but you know, they need to be said. Okay. Okay. So number five is being professional and consistent with your audio and with your artwork and graphics. And I'm not saying not to spend the money to go to a graphic designer and get your artwork done. I think that's awesome. But even if you do it in Canva, you can make it look professional. And also with your audio, you want to make sure that you have equipment and your audio is good so that it has that professional feeling. Also with consistency, you want to have your podcast very consistent when you deliver those episodes, because that also puts a value out there of professionalism, okay? Number six is consider places to show up for extra visibility. The extra step of 
social media, your email list, LinkedIn, Pinterest, those are extra opportunities for you to have visibility.